Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting December 12th, 2016. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for joining me and as always please remember that these are general readings so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. And make sure to watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings because they may give you additional messages, additional insights as to what may be coming up for you in the week. And especially when we're dealing with general readings, it could be that our moon sign resonates with us better than our sun sign or our rising sign resonates better than our sun sign um, reading does and uh, is definitely something that happens when we're looking at general readings. So make sure to watch all three signs. Um, and uh, I invite everyone to take advantage of the New Year special if you're interested um, in a yearly forecast or a six month forecast. I'm currently uh, offering a 20% discount on them. So you can find the link to that in the description box below. And of course, if you wanna take part in the raffle, it's still running until the 15th. So if you wanna take part, now would be a wonderful time for you to do so. Okay, so Capricorn, let's have a look at what is coming up for you in the week. Some change and transformation happening, maybe shifting course um, happening for, uh, for a lot of you. But I feel ultimately we're moving in, into a good direction. Your current situation or your main focus is the Six of Swords. So for some of you, I feel that you're working hard to make a house move happen or you're moving, currently moving, or you have recently moved and you're getting settled in. The Six of Swords can also represent leaving a difficult situation at work. Maybe you're changing your job because of a difficult situation, because of um, conflict within the workplace. Maybe you are thinking about leaving a difficult relationship, uh, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I definitely see a lot of air sign energy in here, so I feel that either you're helped by an air sign, a help, um, uh, an air sign is a positive influence, or an air sign is causing difficulties for you, or you're trying to get away from an air sign energy, whether it's with relationships, or family, or work, or whatever this is, okay? But the Six of Swords is definitely saying that the worst is behind you, all right? If this is something you haven't done yet, you're being advised to do so. You're being advised to let go of this situation and move towards smoother, calmer waters. Um, and if you have, this is definitely, it was a good move for you. You're going to see improvement in your life really, really soon as a result of this change. As your main opportunity, we have the Death card. And so the Death card talks about change and transformation. It talks about letting go of the past, uh, walking away from the past, releasing the past, uh, so that new energy can come in, so that you can welcome in new beginnings, so that you can have clean slates, okay? This is also for some of you, I feel that you're transforming the way you work. So I feel that you may be definitely changing jobs, but it could also be changing careers because it's a, a major account card. So you could be changing your career and you're focusing on doing something that you love to do or something that is in line with your life purpose. Maybe you've had revelations in terms of what you're meant to be doing with your life, what's your purpose. And so now you're making the changes according to that, okay? For others of you, this is definitely having the opportunity to walk away from a difficult, difficult relationship. Uh, and welcoming a new found freedom, healing, and then moving forward towards um, better relationships when the time comes because you've learned your lessons from this one, okay? Um, it could be that a Scorpio helps you do this. So a Scorpio could be offering you a job if you've been unemployed for a while, or a Scorpio could be offering you a job even though you have one but it's not going well and you have a very difficult environment to work in. Or a Scorpio is helping you move, or you're moving with, moving in with a Scorpio, or this is someone you start a relationship with this week, um, coming up with a death card. But your main opportunity is towards releasing the past and embracing new beginnings, okay? Your main challenge is the King of Swords. So the main challenge for some of you, this is the air sign person you've been trying to, or you've walked away from, okay? Uh, so again, air signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So for some of you, this is the person that you've walked away from with, you know, in terms of work or in terms of relationships. Um, and I feel that they may 
struggle uh, or create struggles for you. Uh, they may try to uh, get you back. They may try to cause you difficulties or obstacles. Um, but the challenge is to continue to focus on your new beginning. For, for you, the challenge is not engaging this person. Okay, continuing to focus on your new beginning. Things are going to happen the way they're supposed to. You have very powerful cards here telling you that this is karmic what's happening for you and you're headed towards karmic blessing. So trust that and do not engage this person. Don't look back and definitely don't go back to them. I feel they're not, they really don't have good intentions. And again, it's not going to apply to everyone. So don't think that if things are going just fine for you, then it doesn't apply to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't apply to you. Okay, so don't um, worry about things. Um, they don't apply to you. Um, the King of Swords is definitely someone who could give you uh, obstacles in terms of if you have a hearing with this person or if this person needs to give you a decision or an approval or anything like that. There may be delays because of this person, but I feel like it's not going to stop progress for you. Your advice is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is hearing your calling. The Judgment card is karma. Okay, um, receiving blessings, karmic blessings. The judgment card as advice is asking you to focus on your purpose. Focus on what you know is true for you. Focus on what you feel in your heart is the best thing for you to do. Free yourself from situations that do not have future or do not have a positive future. Free yourself from that or allow people to help you with that with the judgment card. This is also, listen to your intuition. Your angels and your guides are communicating to you, with you, in your dreams, with signs and symbols. This is saying, please pay attention and listen to them. Make changes accordingly, okay, with the judgment card. It's also a card that says embrace, have faith that things are happening the way they're supposed to. Have faith that you're moving towards a better situation, better circumstances and listen and embrace okay so make the changes you're guided to make don't look back don't hold yourself back don't be too analytical where you think about things and they become so complicated and so you psych yourself out of, out of a good situation trust embrace and focus on new beginnings and in the outcome position we have the seven of swords so this is good okay with the seven of swords if it's the same air person air sign person giving you grief that says they will be caught Okay, you can see with the Seven of Swords, yes, they took something from you. And whether this is property or your self-esteem or your energy, your efforts, whatever it is, they took something from you, but they are walking right into a trap and they don't even see it. Okay, so if you are dealing with the, with a difficult, obsessive person that's an air sign or that has a lot of air in their chart, the outcome is they are caught and exposed okay and you can just carry on with what you were doing you don't have to do anything for them to get caught they're going to get themselves caught okay is the message here um for those of you the seven of swords is asking you to um release the past okay you're trying to bring things with you from the past it's not going to work they're weighing you down and they're they're you can't see where you're going because you're trying to carry things from the past with you into a new situation and so you're not seeing where you're going because of that, okay? So again, the guidance, the message here is release, release the past, okay? If you can see in this boat, there's nothing, okay? You just have this guy carrying a couple of swords and these are the lessons that you took with you from the past, not actual property, not actual um, things not heavy emotion okay not pain or difficulty this is what you've learned that's all you need to take with you okay and so don't try to hold on to the past as you go into new situations that's not going to work out and also don't worry about an air sign giving you grief they will be caught they will be exposed and uh, held accountable okay so overall it looks like a really good week um lots of change transformation healing you're definitely healing you're definitely hearing a calling. You know what you need to be doing. You know what your purpose is. You're making changes accordingly. And you're stepping into new beginnings. Okay. The key is to just release the past. 
okay just let it go and then fully embrace these new beginnings they will be um, blessings for you okay is what I'm getting so um, that's the reading that I have I hope that it makes sense and I definitely hope that it helps I look forward to your comments letting me know how these cards apply to you if they do um, I do hope you have a very beautiful week ahead and I'll talk to you soon take care